Microsoft Access Database Concepts for Beginners A database is a collection of related information such as a library's card catalog, a recipe book, mailing list, or phone book. Microsoft Access Database is a set of data related to specific purposes or topics. This includes tools needed to work with data such as select, sort, display, and print in a variety of formats, create and maintain as many databases as you need. Where does Access store your data? Access stores all of the data in tables. A table is the most important concept in Access. Tables, a list of related information in columns and rows. Each row contains records that presents a set of information. Each column contains fields that represents attributes of the record. Each field contains a value. The value is the actual information that you are storing. A spreadsheet is used to enter the data in a single table. The task is simple if every customer orders only one copy. What if each customer orders several copies in a day or week? You need to duplicate the same customer name and address in each record. Now, you need to split the table into three tables, such as Customers Table, Orders Table, and Inventory Table. You only enter one customer name and address. Multiple tables simplify data entry and reporting by decreasing the input of redundant data. By defining two tables for an application that uses customer information, for example, you don't need to store the customer's name and address every time the customer purchases an item. After you've created the tables, they need to be related to each other. For example, if you have a customer's table and an orders table, you must relate the customer's table to the orders table in order to see all the order records for a customer. Microsoft Access is a relational database management system. Access data is stored in related tables where data in one table, such as customers, is related to data in another table, such as orders. Access maintains the relationships between related tables, making it easy to extract a customer and all of the customer's orders. The primary key is a field containing unique data values to identify each record in a table. Customer ID field gets added to customer's table, order number gets added to the order table, and item ID get added to inventory table. The order table will use both primary key fields from the other tables to link all three together. Because each table is linked by a common field, information is well organized and the tables are now related. Each relationship will consist of a primary parent table and a related child table. The primary table typically contains the primary key field. The customer table is the primary table and the order table is the related table. How tables are related to each other represents yet another key concept in relational databases. Three types of relationships, one-to-one, one-to-many, and many-to-many. -many. A one-to-one -one relationship exists when primary record has only one related record. Also, both fields used in the relationship will be primary key fields. For example, customers having one home address and only one billing address. One to many is the most common. Primary record can have many related records in the related table. Many to many relationships are more complicated. If you create a database to keep track of students in a school, many students are in each class and each student takes many classes. You have many records in the student table matching one record in the course table. You also have many records in the courses table matching one record in the student table. If you're new to databases, you need to understand some key concepts before starting to build Access Databases. The Access Database contains seven types of objects which consist of the data and tools that you need to use Access. Table holds the actual data. Query searches for, sorts, and retrieves specific data. Form lets you enter and display data in a customized format. Report displays and prints formatted data. Pages publishes data to a corporate intranet. Macro automates tasks without programming. Module contains programs written in the Visual Basic for Applications VBA programming language. 
Data sheets are used to view data in Access. However, data sheet is not a database object. A data sheet displays a list of records from a table in a format similar to an Excel worksheet. A data sheet displays data as a series of rows and columns. A data sheet displays a table's information in its raw form. The data sheet view is the default mode for displaying all fields for all records. You scroll through the data sheet using the directional keys on your keyboard. You can also display related records in other tables while in a data sheet. In addition, you can make changes to the displayed data. Queries extract information from a database. A query selects and defines a group of records that fulfill a certain condition. Many forms and most reports are based on queries that pre-filter data before it is displayed. Queries are often called from VBA procedures to change, add, or delete database records. An example of a query is when a manager at an electronics store tells the database, show me all the customers in alphabetical order by name who live in California and bought something over the past six months and displayed them sorted by customer name or show me all customers who bought a TV for a value of ten thousand dollars or more over the past six months and display them sorted by customer name and then by value of the TV instead of asking the question in English words the person uses the query by example QBE method when you enter instructions into the QBE design window the query translates the instructions into structured query language SQL and retrieves the desired data in the first example the query first combines data from both the sales and contact tables using the related field contact ID the common link between the tables next it retrieves the first name last name and any other data you want to see access then filters the records selecting only those in which the value of the sales date is within six months of the current date the query sorts the resulting records first by contacts last and first names Finally, the records appear on screen in a data sheet. After you run a query, the resulting set of records may be used in a form that is displayed on screen or printed in a report. In this way, user access is limited to the data that meets the criteria in the returned records. Data entry forms help users get information into a database table quickly, easily, and accurately. Data entry and display forms provide a more structured view of the data than what a data sheet provides. Entering data through the data entry forms is the most common way to get the data into the database table. Data entry forms restrict access to certain fields within the table. Forms also check the validity of your data before it is added to the database table. Data entry forms often resemble familiar paper documents and can aid the user with data entry tasks. Forms make data entry self-explanatory by guiding the user through the fields of the table being updated. Display-only screens and forms are solely for inquiry purposes. These forms allow for the selective display of certain fields within a given table. Displaying some fields and not others means that you can limit a user's access to sensitive data while allowing inquiry into other fields. Reports present your data in printed format. Access supports several different types of reports. A report may list all records in a given table, such as a customer table, or may list only the records meeting a certain criterion, such as all customers living in the state of California. Your reports can combine several tables to present relationships among different sets of data. An example is printing an invoice. You access the customer table to obtain the customer's name and address and other relevant data and related records in the order table to print the individual line item information for the products ordered. You then instruct access to calculate the totals and print them in a specific format on the form. Additionally, you can have access output records onto an invoice report, a printed document that summarizes the invoice. You have learned the following. Database concept for Microsoft Access, relational database and how tables are related, database relationship, access database objects and views, queries and SQLs, data entry and display forms, reports. Thank <laughs> you.